Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are back here with Lillian Williams, our medium, our psychic, our intuitive Green Mountain medium. She's joined with her cat as well. And after much chaos and miscommunication, because this happens to us a lot when we're together, her energy creates these types of communication interferences like it did last week. Your cell phone popped on. And then today you had problem logging. And on our first episode, it remember I set off the like way before the show ended. Yeah. This um, one, this so, so I, I know <laughs> this is the most powerful one yet. And it's actually funny because I actually literally just got a tune for Reiki um, Thursday or Friday. And I went up and literally, so the thing about me is I'm a little bit kind of, and I've talked about this before. Sorry, we're going to have to bear with the angles. I'm going to set my tripod up right okay, now. Okay. No problem. But um, we basically activated me for Reiki. And, um, well, I had a human attune me, but the thing is spirits basically already attuned me for Reiki like a while ago. And it's just funny because during the whole like activation, the only thing spirit kept saying was me to me was, do you remember child? Do you remember child? Do you remember? And I'm like, yes, I remember because like the thing is like I was there before and I was also doing like Reiki before my official activation because I've talked about it before and it's literally spirit flowing through me. And I ended up doing a Reiki session the night prior to my activation and my Reiki, I did it on my Reiki master and she said it was hands down the most powerful activation or not activation Reiki session she's ever had in her entire life. And I sent her through an entire healing crisis and she's had so much, she's had many different sessions with many other masters and it's just, that's the thing. And then I came home after and for a while I've been feeling a little bit off. Like, I think I went as far as I could go without the official and spirit just came back. Like spirit totally came back and I'm at my full power again, kind of. And um, so I also went out and I mean, it's Vermont, (laughs) it's snowing, um, but there was a little bit of mud and I got so excited and I ran out barefoot (laughs) and I played in a mud puddle and I did my mud bath and I got jars of mud and I'm so happy because I'm back. Yeah, and spirits energized and you to the see, point where you're re-energizing your whole and, system like i do crazy things like spirit is just so power and it's like i'm back mm-hmm. i'm ancient i'm back and i'm connected and it's like um like because i get a lot of my stuff from nature because me and spirit like we're not separate we are li- like spirit talks through me spirit like I've been trying to repress it like I've noticed since I've had like neighbors move in that are like my age and when we went off like I haven't been myself yeah. like because of like all the energy I've been like I have not been myself and I've been like I haven't let spirit out like that in a very and I need to because that's the power like because <laughs> and, and this is what I want to talk about today is basically your inner child and healing and all that. We probably, I got to go fast today because, but the inner child is something that is very, very powerful. And I've noticed that I've been so caught up in my business and just doing and just trying to like build like heavy, heavy, heavy push with the masculine energy. Like Mm -hmm. I've talked about this before and I've myself, I've also been heavy in that masculine, just pushing and pushing and pushing and doing and building and building. That's okay. But it's like, I also need to let myself play. Like uh, I, there is so much power that comes from my land and that comes from being like my farm that goes like, there are powerful things that happen and it's unexplainable and it's, but it's my life. Like Mm -hmm. I set alarm fire alarms off, but like, I don't even really keep smoke alarms down here anymore. Like I keep them upstairs for the tenants, but like down here, if I have them, like I keep a couple, but like I literally set off fire alarms. I set off car batteries. I set, and it's like, 
the activation has just made this so much more and it's just like I'm back full throttle on back wow congratulations I'm glad we're here I'm glad we made it <laughs> thank you what did spirit want to talk about today as well I mean unfortunately we only have 10 minutes left I can't believe it because of all the chaos so let's do our best to get what, maybe what we can hun so I wanted spirit really wanted to talk today about well, Valentine's Day and it being a holiday. But you see, the thing is, like, we shouldn't be waiting for a holiday to show somebody we love them, to show somebody we care, mm-hmm. to reach out. We shouldn't wait for a holiday or a special occasion to show somebody they matter. And you see, this is the issue. Like, why do you want to be with somebody who gives you the bare minimum? This is my, this is what I see all the time because it's like people are, and I I, I know I probably talk about this too much, but people are over here settling for less because they don't believe they're good enough. Mm. Like, because they don't love themselves. They are so hungry to get out there and to get kind of ahead. But well, when I say ahead, I mean, just to be with somebody else and start that family and to do like all the, but it's like, no, pull yourself back, pull mm-hmm. yourself back and just look at you, mm-hmm. look at you and get comfortable with you. Because if you need somebody by your side 24 seven, like what's, what's like, you need to be good on your own. You can, like, this is the issue. Like, we are literally so programmed right now. We come into this world and we are like, oh, we're not whole on our own because we see Disney movies. We see happily ever afters. We see, and we don't understand that we are not, we don't need saving by another person. We save ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't need a Prince Charming. We save, be your own Valentine anybody else is just extra does that make sense and it's like Mm -hmm. it is and it's like until people like if people don't put in what and the thing about a relationship a healthy relationship is it's equal reciprocity reciprocalness it's the Mm -hmm. six of pentacles it's you give what you put in and we need to open our hearts and we need to let love in and this is the thing like society is so like because of the we we are sleeping with people like before we get attached and we are having sex without feelings. And mm-hmm. this is like what's going on. And I mean, it's okay. Like casual sex is okay. But like the thing is, there is spiritual hygiene that you need to be doing. If you want to sleep around, that's fine. But the thing is, you see this selenite knife? You need to be doing active cord cuttings, mm-hmm. active cleansing of yourself because every time you have intercourse with somebody you are creating energetic cords with them and every other person they've slept with and every other person they've dealt with and it be in when so if you're in hundreds hundreds Uh and hundreds and it goes on fast and Uh and it's okay but Mm -hmm. you are literally and that's why people get so depleted and that's why people lose themselves because they it's okay it's okay if you want to go have fun go have fun i will literally preach that right here right now but cut those cords and cleanse your energy after because I mean, it's, it's culture these days, but at the same time, like I want so like people need to be able to like, be able to be like, yeah, I want love. But at the same time, like you need to be patient and you need to be able to let it grow and you don't need to rush into anything. Like just take your time, just take your time and let love grow because love doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. You don't like, it takes work. It's a choice love is a choice two people have to make not just one and they have to both put in the same amount of effort and energy 
Thank you. You're our love guru here today, our Cupid. Really, <laughs> Cupid. Lillian. No, you are. You all dressed for the part. She's got her beautiful. I know. Dress I was on. so excited. And it's Green Mountain Medium LLC dot com. Dot com. And then the Facebook is one of my bigger platforms. That's yep. basically where I share everything. Um, and the Instagram is Green underscore mountain underscore medium and yeah i just if you if you don't have a valentine's day and you're all sad go buy yourself a box of chocolates yeah take a salt bath tonight plug it into you you like if you go on a day like i i I don't even know if i want to go out tonight like i've been asked out tonight by a couple of and i don't even know if i want to go out tonight because i'm like it's almost the full moon the full moon's in a couple days and i'm like I just want to, I just, like, I don't, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, that's the thing, like, you don't need a Valentine's to be happy, Validation. like, you, yeah. mm-hmm. and, and that's the thing, like, you have to be able to show yourself love first before you can let another person show you love, and you have to be able to love yourself before you can show that to another person, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah it does. Like, it I does. really hope that makes sense, because I, I know it's something that's so foreign these days, and it's like, we we in these cultures we literally say oh dear i caught feelings and then we run from them because we we are like feeling that we don't know how to feel especially you you people your age like we don't know how to feel mm-hmm. yeah like it is so scary like oh. our hearts my heart chakra has literally been fighting it mm. mm-hmm. because it's, it's we get so used to disappointment after disappointment after disappointment after and we just get so caught up in the hurt and the and and everything and it's like we almost expect that disappointment because it's it's how we're programmed but it's like no it spirit will the right person will eventually step up and show up and be everything you need them to be but until that it's like don't settle because yeah. you have spirit has a plan for you and it's like don't settle with a dusty you know and (laughs) i'm not being mean but it's it's like if they don't have their and it's like the other thing i noticed too is like now that i'm owning a business and it's like i own all this like i'm noticing that guys like i don't know if it's like subtle jealousies almost of like intimidation it and that intimidation but because a i'm smart (laughs) and b like i like, cause it's like, I'm always 10 steps ahead just cause I'm psychic. It's like, I get very triggered when people lie to me and they lie to my face and they're like, oh yeah, I'm coming right back. I'm coming. And then it's like, no, you're literally going to come back three months later when you want something yeah. mm-hmm. and you're lonely. I'm not a booty call, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's like, yes, it's fun. But at the same time, it's like, Jesus Christ, buy me dinner at least because I'm over here. And like, I'm not trying to sound cocky, but I'm a, I make good money. And it's like, what, why are we sitting here? Like this kind of like, because my time is valuable. Valuable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am that. And this is like, I don't mean to sound it like that, but it's like, I'm valuable. And it's like a date. If I go on a date with you, I could be talking to a client and making So it's like, oftentimes that dinner that they're buying me isn't even worth, because when I'm dating somebody, I'm usually giving them free psychic advice. I'm, you know what I mean? Because like, I just do it naturally. And it's like, well, what, what are you giving me me? other than your, what are you giving me other than maybe when you want to come over and get, you know, Uh and it's like, Jesus. And it's like, this is where I'm at because it's like, I've, and I'm not saying I'm so far ahead, but it's just like, I'm a trip, but it's like, you it's are. almost like at this point, like, and it's like not even fun for me anymore because it's like, I am so psychic. So it's like, I literally get so mad when people, I'm a human lie detector. And when they're sitting there lying to my face, I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, are you, do you even know who I am? Do you mm-hmm. know what I am? Are you really trying me right now? Yeah. Just be because, honest. And my like, God. I'm not trying, because, but it's just like, I want somebody who's sweet, who's kind, who's nurturing, Mm -hmm. who's protective, who's genuine, who's healthy. I don't, and this is what everybody should be striving for. 
Yeah. Like, and, and if you're in a relationship, a lot of the times your greatest test is going to be to leave somebody behind because they're not treating you. A lot of the times your biggest test is sitting there and being like, no, I got to put myself first. Why am yeah. I chasing this person? Mm-hmm. Why am I settling? Because if they're not treating you right, yeah. if they're not tr- looking at you, like, like, it's not to say I want the world. But I want decency. I want kindness and I want effort. And I feel like people are settling these days because no one, men usually don't know. We don't, we aren't programmed like that today. We aren't. Yeah. Plain and simple, we aren't. And it's sad, but it's like, and it's, it's because we're so guarded. We're so hurt. We don't push through the pain. We don't know how to love. And it's like, I've been so blocked with like trying to get into the flow of creating love readings for Valentine's day, because it's Mm -hmm. like, it's hard because it's like today's culture is so messed up when it comes to love and date, because half the time, even in seemingly good marriages, Mm -hmm. there it's a, it's a, it's a front, you know, at the because at the end of the day, if you're not giving in what you're getting back, what you're putting in, why? And it's like you, everybody is worthy of a love. Everybody is worthy of an epic love. And it's run so much deeper than skin deep. And that's what a lot of people don't like. I am more than just a pretty face. Yeah. I am more than just a body for you to keep yourself warm with. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's like, This is the thing. Like, women are literally just so trained to be walked all over. Like, no. Like, no. Like, if you want to leave, fine, leave. But you're not coming back. Because I'm not playing this game. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to... Because when I... People, because I, I... Because of what I am, it's like... People get kind of caught up, I think, in my energy. So it's like they come back but it's like they don't know what they're doing to me Mm -hmm. and it's because like I put out the healing energy and I want to see them do do good because I'll I'll believe in anybody I'll get behind anybody and I'll be like come on let's go come on we'll we'll pick you up out of the dark and this is this has been my karma's lesson because I spent a lot of my time before I opened the business trying to pick people up out of the darkness because I cared too much about them and I was trying to help people that didn't want to be helped. Yeah. And, and this is a hard, you can't help people that don't want to be helped and you love. can't love, you can't love and you can't be friends with potential. Yep. Does that make sense to you? It like does. you can't date potential. Mm-hmm. You got to date. And you can be destined. You can, it can be in the stars. You two can literally be made for each other. But if they're treating you, like, they don't even give you the time of day until they're drunk or lonely. Yeah. And it's like, as as a woman, I'm worth more than that. Clearly. Like, if you want to impress, buy me dinner. Yeah. Get to know me. It's not that complicated. It's not that, and I am so guarded and I don't mean to be guarded, but it's like in this day and age, it's like, Mm -hmm. you have to be guarded and you have to know how to use that sword and you have to drop it. And you know, I'm not going to lie. I probably do cut people off a little too fast sometimes, but you know what? If they're meant to be, spirit's going to bring them back. I don't usually have a choice, but I have to drop my sword when spirit tells me to drop the sword. And if (laughs) like, I'm sorry, I like, I know when people are lying. I know when people are dying. I'm, I'm not stupid. I know. I literally read energy and it's like these people will be trying to pull stuff over me and it's like who do you no. think I am and Lillian, it's like I apologize we have to go yeah, right oh my god I'm sorry oh, I'm so sorry but it's a great Valentine's Day uh today and put a perspective in a lot of people's heads about what they deserve how they should be treated love themselves first and then you can love another in a sense right to be yes. honest and well listen to our guts just remind us how we can reach out to you sweetheart i apologize so you can um find me on my website my website is green mountain medium llc.com you can find me on facebook at green mountain medium llc the youtube is also the same and then i'm on instagram at green underscore mountain underscore medium all right thank you so much so sorry we had a rush show today uh, Let's no do it again. i'm sorry okay. about that don't be sorry love you
Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.